In this special Christmas time, I'd like to read my favourite poem of all time, which is The Lion and Albert by Mr. Someone. And we're going to start at verse 2, and in one instance I'm going to change one of the words to really put emphasis on it. So here we go, with my favourite poem. A grand little lad was young Albert, all dressed in his best, quite a swell, with a stick with a horse's a dandle, the finest that Woolworths could sell. They didn't think much to the ocean, the waves, they were fiddling and small. There were no wrecks and no drowned, fact, nothing to laugh at at all. So, seeking for further amusement, they paid and went to the zoo, where they'd lions and tigers and camels, and all ale and sandwiches too. There were one great big lion called Wallace. His nose were all covered with scars, and he lay in a sombre position with the side of his face on the bars. Now Albert had heard about lions, how they were ferocious and wild. To see this one acting so peaceful, well, it didn't seem right to the child. So straight away the, the brave yodel feller, not showing a morsel of fear, took his stick with his horse's head handle and rammed it in Wallace's ear. Now you could see that the lion didn't like it. For given a kind of a roll, he pulled Albert inside the cage with him and bloody yet the man whole. Now Pa, who had seen the occurrence and didn't know what to do next, said, Ma? Young lions at Talbot. And Mother said, Well, I'm vexed. Then Mr. and Mrs. Ransbottom, quite frankly, when all said and done, complained to the animal keeper that the lion had eaten their son. Keeper was quite nice about it. He said, Ooh, what a nasty mishap. Are you sure your son's in eaten? Pa said, Miss Shaw, this is Gap. The manager had to be sent for. He came and said, What's to do? Pa said, Young lions, a Talbot, and him in his Sunday clothes too. Then mother said, Right, right, young fella, I think it's a shame and a sin for a lion to go and eat Talbot and after we've paid to come in. The manager wanted no trouble. He took out his purse straight away and said, How much to settle the matter? And Pa said, What do you usually pay? But Mother had turned a bit awkward when she saw where her Albert had gone. She said, No. Someone's got to be summoned. Well, of course, that was decided upon. Then they went along to the police station, in front of the magistrate chap. They told him what happened to Albert, and proved it by showing his gap. The magistrate gave his opinion that no one was really to blame, and he said that he opened the ram's bottoms would have for the sons to their name. At that, Mother got pretty angry. And thank you, sir, kindly, said she. What waste all our lives raising children to feed ruddy lions, not me. And if you want to hear the sequel to that poem, there is one. Because you probably didn't know that. I didn't know that till yesterday. But it's a lovely little poem, and I like emphasising it and doing all the voices, um, because they are fun. And uh, hopefully, uh, if I'm not too busy, I will read you another.